So it was head on, he could have lost his life. And so he gets out of the car, he goes and he, he meets the guy and he goes, Sir, we meet by accident. My name is Bill Connolly. And he gave the guy a beer. <laughs> he gave the DUI guy a beer. So it's just been incredible. Um, if you read the, um, the obituary, there's just so many stories uh, that were there. I think Kevin Burry is. Uh, is back in the other room there, but uh, oh, 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 that's right. Yeah, yeah. You got to do a couple of Kevin stories. Yeah, yeah. What paint the obituary? So, uh, so they would get customers, and Dad was a sign painter and, and a graphic artist, and the, the paintings are out there from about 1978. But he went back to Quinn's Market just because he loved the people. He said, "This isn't a job; it's a way of life." Perry Sue was there, and, uh, and the Munleys, and uh, and Kevin and he worked in the meat market. Dad started the meat market back in the 60s, and so Kevin was working in there, I think it was in, in the later 80s, but they would get the customers, the crazy customers who come in, and one that was in, in the uh, obituary was a lady who had her, and she was about 60, but her mom was about 90, you know, and like going up toward 100, and she would point at her, she goes, look at her, right in the middle of the store. Look at it, she hangs on and on and on. <laughs> in a corner like this. But the butcher stories were, um, you would get a, a really cranky customer. One was Mrs. Evangelist. And so Mrs. Evangelist came in. That's the one they made. And she came in. Oh, then you were turning right now. And so. Carry on. Here's the pair of Kevin's stories, okay? Ms. Evangelist came in and uh, she was questioning the sanitariness of the meat uh, department in there. And she said, uh, don't you wear gloves? And Kevin said, ah, sure, or uh, I said it wrong. Don't you have gloves? Said, don't you have gloves? Ah, sure, now we do that, man. Up on the walls, small, medium, large. <laughs> and uh, the all-time favorite, which Dad always told when, uh, when Kevin came, was um, she also questioned, uh, she goes, are your your capons, are they, are they, are they naturally castrated or, or, or uh, chemically castrated? Kevin says, ah, sure, no, ma'am, I was not there myself. <laughs> but I can tell you that either application would be equally as painful. <laughs> so, anybody else, I know we have, uh, we have Patrick here and, and uh, different people that, uh, if you have any fond remembrances, you can either come up here while we're waiting for the rest of the food or, um, mm -hmm. or wait till you're fed. <laughs> so, but welcome. Thanks. Thanks for coming. Uh, Dad was uh, talking to Aunt Mary, and he said, "You know, he's really larger than life. Just a larger than life uh, character." And so, I thought I was talking to to my sister Beth, and she said, uh, "I was really kind of feeling sad." Um, it was a couple of weeks ago because we were with him and he died. And I said, well, "Anytime you uh, run a charity race, or you draw a beautiful rendering of uh, she does pet portraits," I said, "He lives on." And same thing with Sister Jane. She goes and helps people, uh, a lot of end of life. She's almost like a, an amateur hospice person. She'll go to different places and do it. She, she's laughing. <laughs> it's true, you do do it. And uh, our Uncle Frank, and so anytime Jane helps somebody, and my brother Tim uh, works very conscientiously, very hard, lives out in California. Um, and and any, any, any stupid thing that I do, drawing or, or general, <laughs> handing people a laugh, um, he lives on. And so he lives on through all of, of, of you and all the gifts, all the paintings that he left behind, all the pastrami Dan had. We've got Jordan Cascarini here today. Uh, <laughs> just so, so many stories and so many, um, well, I made a video of him, uh, and I, man, I was, I was losing it too. And we put music to it, and it's uh, by my daughter and myself. We put all the music together, uh, Danny Boy, into Leader of the Band, which uh, Jay suggested, and then it ends up with uh, On Eagle's Wings, which Dad specifically requested. So. Enjoy that. If you uh, give me your email address, I'll I'll send it to you as well. It worked out pretty well. Welcome. And, uh, mm -hmm. And somebody get back to the squirrel. Mm -hmm. and if you want to say anything at any time, you get up and. Mm -hmm. and